Uh, hi friends, today we will see how to read a CSV file in a Jupyter Notebook with the help of Pandas data frame. So the importance of file reading in data science or machine learning projects are very important. So as you can see, I am reading a airports.csv. Run this file. It is saying file not found error. So as but like there is one thing to figure out like where this file is. So first we will go and see where what is our present work directory. So it is C users netset OS. So the, one of the simplest way to do it is to place this file in the C users netset OS location. So it will run there. So let's put our file there. So uh, my file is in C drive. input file so what i can do i just copy this file and i will paste it in where c users net set os if i put this file here so i will run this frame again and whether it is able so this time it is working fine like if we put the file where pwd location is pointing to then we can read this file correctly so, but this is a very naive way as in production systems or as in companies, you will never put it in the current directory. So what is a better way? Suppose your location will be input files. So you want to store your file in this location as it is, it is a good practice to store all the static files in a location, which is accessible to the outside public also. And like that will be a good practice to store all your files in a single location. So for this purpose I have stored it in C input files. So what I can do, I can just do C input files and airport.csv. Now let's see whether we can read this in this way or not. So I will just run this code and see, okay, again, file not found error. What is the mistake? Can you figure this out? And I am just telling you, it is a very common mistake. Many programmers will make. And if you be with me, I will tell you, you will never face this problem, whether in Windows system or in Ubuntu systems or any of the Linux systems. So be with me for five minutes. So the first thing is that these type of slashes are called forward slashes. So if you put two forward slashes here, then it will solve your problem. You can read this file. As you can see, it is easily readable. And if I want to get the, all the columns from this file, I can just run this and say these are all the columns in my uh, csv file so that is working fine suppose if i do not want to give this double slashes and i want to go with the single slashes only so the another option will be to put an r before the string just see the location of the r it is before the double quotes so in this way if you want if you do not want to use two forward slashes with a single forward slash you have to use r so if you run this again and run this again it will work fine if i remove r from here then it will again give error that file is does not found so put two forward slashes or if you want to put a single forward slash then you have to put a r as simple as that so now let's go ahead what do we use in companies what is the best practice the best practice is to use os.path.separator so what does it is do so it is like simple whether it is ubuntu system whether it is linux system or whether it is windows system it will just be dependent upon the os and it will put a forward slash or a backward slash accordingly so what you can do like this is our location c so you can put s like i have put os.port.sap in a variable named s so it what it will do c plus s plus input file plus s plus airports.csv so in this way, it will never break. Whether you are running it in the into Ubuntu system or whether you are running it into Linux system or any of the system. So this will take care. So this is used in majority of the companies. So don't worry, this code will never fail. So in my opinion, use this thing always whenever you are uh, playing with the files. So let's see whether this thing is working or not. So I will just run it. So it is working fine and I can get the all the airport columns. So I will just want to print the like what is the separator so i will put like something windows separator windows and i will print this thing also like how it will look so 
total path of file just run this so as you can see our window separator is single forward slash and this is the file path so uh, hard work is involved in this thing but it will pay off in the long run so is there any other way like if you want to read it with the one backslash that is also one instead of not putting any r or something like that put a backslash instead of one forward slash or two forward slash it will be very easy so as you can see files are compiling fine if you want to learn new things that are standard in corporate world just stay tuned thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel